All right, it's time for another math easy solution. Time to discuss further into uh, differential equations and now extend further from the uh, exponential growth and decay uh, video. Went over a couple of videos back and now look at propor uh, proportionality constant and in terms of population growth. So let's look at population growth. So the question we want to ask uh, is what is the significance of the proportionality constant K and in the context of population growth, similar for decay, but let's look at population growth growth for now. So we write, well, initially the uh, recall that the um, differential equation model for population growth, the basic one is D, dp over dt is equal to k times p. In other words, the rate of uh, population growth is proportional due, due to this proportionality constant due to the, uh, yeah, proportional to the population. And then if we rearrange this, uh, what we end up getting is, uh, instead of this, we could write, or k is equal to, just move this over. I'll just, I'll just leave the k on the other side. So move the p on the other side. We get a one over p dp over dt is equal to k. So I'll circle this right here. So basically we have a differential equation, you could either write it in both forms, but I want to write, write it in this form to get a better idea of what this k uh, constant is. And now the quantity, uh, this one right here, the 1 over p dp over dt, which is just this one right here. Yeah, that quantity is the growth rate, so dp over dt, divided by the population size. In other words, it is the relative growth rate. Yeah, so this is actually a, yeah, a fraction of, or more of a percentage of the population growth. So, yeah, yeah, because of this uh, 1 over p right there. So what that means is, yeah, is that whether you have a small population or a large population, this k constant pretty much says uh, the rate that you're increasing if you're looking at population growth. But it's, again, dependent on the size. If, you have a, if you're increasing by a lot, and the size is uh, small, then, then the relative uh, growth is going to be really, really high because that small population is just growing much faster. But if you had a very large population, you're going to be dividing by P. So this will bring down the relative growth and this DP over DT, even if it was, uh, if this was, let's say, uh, the same amount of growth as the uh, small population one, but because it's a large population, the relative size is much smaller. And I'll expand, expand on that as we get through in this video. So according to the gover governing differential, yeah, I made a typo, di so differential equation above, so either one of these. So uh, above, instead of saying the growth rate is proportional to population size, which uh, this equation uh, better suits that saying, so the growth rate is proportional to the population size, we could say the relative growth rate, so this is the relative growth rate because you're dividing by P, is constant, and that's our count constant k. So that's another way of saying uh, this governing differential equation. So then, uh, since the solution to this differential equation is an exponential function, as explained in my earlier video, the population with a constant relative growth rate must grow exponentially. And again, recall basically, Recall my earlier video, if you had dy over dt, so y is any quantity, in our case that will be population, so equals ky, and then we had, well, uh, given the initial value y of 0 is equal to y0, and then the solution to this differential equation is y of t is equal to y0 e to the kt. So that's just a recap of my earlier video. And again, it shows that the solution is exponential, so the population must be growing. Yes, yeah, so the population, if it has a constant relative growth rate, which is this k, uh, must grow exponentially based on the solution that I went over in my earlier video. And notice that the relative growth rate k appears as the coefficient of t in the exponential uh, function uh, y0 e k t. So that's right over here. So that's where it appears. Yeah, and basically it's a coefficient in front of that t variable. So uh, again, so for instance, if we had, let's just look at a simple example, dp over dt equals to 
zero two p. So that's our k. Yeah, and t is measured in years. Then let's make some space here. So t is measured in years, and the relative growth rate is this k value is equal to point zero two, and as units of one over a year. And again, because we have this over here e to the power of this has to be just uh, unitless, so then you divide by year, and hence we have this per year, uh, actually that's right over here, so we have this per year, I'll get to that, so the growth rate is 0 0.02 um, units of uh, 1 over a year, and the population grows at a relative rate of 2% per year. Yeah, so the idea is it's a relative rate, that's why we have this percent, so that it will depend on the size of the population. So if you had a very large population growing at 2%, then the absolute amount of growth is really large, but if you had a really, really, really small population, the absolute amount that's changing is very small, but even if they have the exact same relative uh, increase. Yeah, for example, I just want to get a quick example here. So for example, just to illustrate this relative growth uh, example. Yeah, so for example, if we had a hundred people, or let's just say a hundred people, that's their population size, or bacteria, or whatever you're looking at. Let's say it increases by 2%. So if this increases by 2%, 2% of 100, that's just two, so this just equals to 102. But similarly, if you had, let's say, a thousand people plus two percent, so this is the same. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is the same relative growth rate. So even even if we had this k as two percent, then what we have here is this is instead of 102, what we end up having is this is going to be 20. Is is two percent of this? We just times it by 10. So 120. I mean, yeah. So this 1,020. So it, that's the whole idea. It's a relative growth rate as opposed to an absolute. So even though this grew by, uh, let's say, grew by 2, so the absolute is much smaller than this one, grew by 20, even though they have the exact same relative, because it depends on the size of the population. Yeah, and finally, if the population at time 0 is p of 0, then the expression for the population is again p of t equals to p0 e to the point zero two t like that and this is saying that the population increases exponentially again that's because of this relative increase is constant so if you had a small population you're going by two and then you increase the population you're still growing relatively the same but look at this ten this two twenty so you're increasing by much more than just two uh, so it's not a linear growth, it's exponential. Anyways, that is all for today. Uh, if we learn from this uh, uh, this brief explanation video on the proportionality constant, uh, yeah, I haven't gone over the constant before, so this is a good video on that to go over it. And in later videos, I'll go over some examples and uh, some uh, some uh, radioactive decay in later videos, etc. So stay tuned for those. And anyways, that's all for today. Like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.